Let's turn back the clock to a decade ago. Back then, SaaS interfaces looked very different from what we see today, which poses the question, is your UI out of date? I'm Gabriel, product designer of User Active, where we have helped dozens of SaaS companies improve their user experience and interface design over the past few years. By the end of this video, you will understand what a great interface design was back then versus what your users are expecting from you today. So you will know whether your product is ready to compete with the tough competition out there or whether it's just out of date and in need of a redesign. A decade ago might not seem like that long ago, but maybe at that time, Jira looked like this, LinkedIn also looked like this, and Salesforce looks like this. Back then, you will find static layouts, fixed layouts with limited user flexibility, with a one-size-fits-all approach. Web and software development tools were not as advanced as they are today, making it difficult to create dynamic and responsive layouts. Also, mobile devices hadn't yet become the main platform for people to access the internet or applications. So people didn't really care so much about responsive design. It was all about desktops. Now you can build software without responsive design. Users expect to be able to access your SaaS products on various multiple devices. Even back in 2016, Adobe revealed that approximately 68% of the companies use up to five enterprise mobile applications, which is a lot. Now, what we rule is about customizations. That's what everybody wants. Empower your users to personalize layouts, rearrange elements, and craft their unique experience. Personalization enhances user satisfaction by allowing them to tailor the interface to their own preferences and workflows, leading to a more engaging and efficient experience. In the past, interactions were very basic, more or less just hovering and clicking. That was just about it. Users were more used to a traditional desktop software, which often had a more static interaction model. Building complex interactive features required a more development effort and could potentially introduce compatibility and performance issues. Now, the interactivity is key. Micro interactions, animations, and dynamic transitions elevate the user engagement. Also, interactivity creates a sense of responsiveness and delight, encouraging users to explore the interface and interact more deeply with the software. They also provide feedback, guide users, and simplify complex tasks making it a more intuitive and user-friendly experience. Now let's talk to aesthetics. Before, functionality was more important than aesthetics. UX didn't really matter compared to data presentation. So the web was still maturing and many companies were more focused on providing functional websites and apps. Most were centered around presenting data and information to users, but not quite in the same way as today. Now we see every B2B software infuse charts, graphs, and visuals directly into design to deliver immediate and clear, clear insights. Visual data representation also accelerates decision making by presenting complex information in easy to digest formats, meaning the user can get actionable insights very quickly. Now, we need to talk about those text heavy softwares. When we talk about illustrations, iconography, and images, they were not really the rule. It is true that slower internet speeds and limited data plans made it challenging to deliver rich media content, such as images and videos. But designers, they had to rely on more text-based content to ensure faster loading time. But also, the emphasis was on conveying information and functionality through textual content, as this was a reliable and efficient way to communicate with users. Now, every good SaaS leverages illustrations and graphics elements to enrich user engagement and streamline comprehension. Those visual elements, they help in conveying information much quicker and intuitively, reducing cognitive load and helping users make more informed decisions by enabling effective communication. In general terms, now it is all about modern designs. So businesses now prioritize interface design, a visually appealing and consistent design, also reinforces the SaaS brand identity, building trust and recognition among our users. And modern design signals a product's relevance and professionalisms, making users more likely to trust and adopt the software. By incorporating these updated norms into your SaaS interfaces, not only means that you will be reaching user expectations, but also lets you deliver a more valuable user-centric experience and competitive product in an increasing competitive market. If you like these UI differences, you will also want to know how to improve your UX. So these are things that you can do to grow your user base and stay up to date. Check out this video here to find out.